Jackie's Buzz, coming to you not so live from New Haven, Connecticut. Reno Venturi from Tripeg Studios and the Actors Gym. Hi, Reno. Hi, Jackie. Good to see Great you to again, here. sweetie. How's everything? Excellent. Life couldn't be better. Wow, I like that yeah. response. Yeah, couldn't be better. Now, I was looking at your bio because I know you already and we're buds and everything, but I was looking and it said actor, director, vocalist. I didn't know about this vocalist. <laughs> Tell us about this. That's so funny because I've spent the majority of my life doing uh, traveling and touring with uh, musical theater. Did you? Really? Yeah, Man of La Mancha. I toured I for almost that. two years. Did you really? Yeah, That's fantastic. like one of my favorite, favorite shows. Tell it, me about that. How it's funny that? because my agent tried to get me to do that show for, I'm going to say, about 10 years. And I always said, no, no, I'm not going to do it because I hate the song Try to Remember. But then one day I said, ah, I think I'll give it a shot. Went out, did it. Ended up being my favorite show ever besides Sweeney Todd. I love Sweeney Todd as I well. I saw that a lot as a kid. That yeah, it surprises fun. people. And they say to me on Facebook, oh, I didn't know you sang. And I'm like, people in California didn't know I did anything else but sing. <laughs> Yes, because I knew you were like vocal. I mean, I knew you were a director, acting teacher, all that. But yep. I, I, the vocalist thing, I was like, wow. So how long were you? You toured for the show? Or? I toured with all kinds of shows. Did shows in Branson, Missouri. I did a show called uh, Hollywood Serenade there where I was the lead crooner. And great songs like uh, Slow Boat to China and Stardust, things like nice. that. Nice. Yeah. Now, where did you tour? New York, California? Or where? I, I was all over Southern California. I toured all over. I did stuff in New York as a young actor. Worked on a lot of shows when I was 15, 16. We won't say what years those were but it was a few years ago <laughs> i like that and then you directed a lot of musicals directed too, a right? lot of shows yeah i did uh i've directed cabaret gypsy i've actually directed the fantastics a few times yeah nice. love it i love it love it all and i kept i kept doing acting because they wouldn't let me do musical theater unless i could act so they kind of supported each other that's very nice. And how long have you had Tripex Studio, or not Tripex Studio, how long have you had the Actors Gym? In the well, place? the Actors Gym has been around about seven years, and before that, I was at the New England Academy of Theater. But I'd been, you know, teaching. You had a studio at the New England Academy? We did. Oh. We did. We had a studio there as well. Wow. And that started back in 94. Oh, nice. So it's been, it's, it's been around a while. Yes. Yeah. So now director, acting, teacher, um, vocalist, actor. If somebody could like wave a magic wand and said, you can only do one thing, Reno. Uh, what do you think that I, would be? I, 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 that would be really hard. I'd I have to split the difference between directing and producing and singing. Because I really kind of miss the singing thing. Now that's where me by surprise. So the singing, wow. Yeah, because I think that was uh, probably what brought me the most joy. Because you can really get your power from your audience. And I sang live concerts I did musical theater I did clubs I did all kinds of things but I've my mother was a big band sing. vocalist can you teach me? Sure, I can teach anybody to sing. Can you? Absolutely. <laughs> and then I'll come back on the show and sing with we'll you. We'll start with some vocal warm-ups so we we'll really get you going. That's so nice. And you like working with children, right? That's uh... I do work, like working with children. And I did that primarily when I was at the New England Academy of Theater. And currently, I have a number of uh, children uh, in New York working and in Los Angeles. I cast a lot of commercials with children. And now we're bringing a lot of children's classes into the Actors' Gym. Nice. Yes. And if you had advice for young kids that are getting into the business now, because every Everything's difficult nowadays. What advice would you would you say that you would give to young people wanting to get into the business? Well, I, I'm going to say that uh, they have to stick with education because you have to be smart about everything. Um, you have to know a little bit about a lot of different yes, things. Yes. So always keep your mind open, receptive, and uh, as I would say to anybody. Always do it because you love it. No other reason, not fame and fortune, because we know how uh, glamorous yes, it is. Yes, yeah, sitting around for hours and Just stuff. Hurry up and wait. Great. Yeah, it's a lot of the film business. <laughs> now, is it true? I heard somewhere that you played a bad guy in a series of commercials. Is that? I did. Super, oh, tell me about that. Uh, Subaru commercials, actually. I was the catch him guy. Uh, hard to believe I'm an Australian. Yeah. I love that. Do that again for me. Catch him. <laughs> I remember that now that you said that. Yeah, it was all the big chase scenes. I did that with uh, Paul Hogan for a number of years and uh, got a lot of my friends like into the union that way because whenever they needed background, I call these young actor friends of mine and say, hey, it's a union deal, show up. And that's how they got their union that's card. That's a nice gig, too. Yeah, right? it was a great gig. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. And tell me, okay, I love this title. I'm looking on your, <laughs> your bio uh -oh. and I heard there's a show that you're doing called Nipples to the Wind. Nipples to the Wind, baby. <laughs> that's right. It's actually a very very positive statement. It's the same as uh, keep your chin up, but it's for, for women. Oh. It's from the South. Oh, from and the it South. Means, it yep. almost sounds like it should be British or something. No, yeah. it's it's from the South, and it means, uh, you know, keep your head up and face all your problems head on. Is that right? Yeah, and that show actually like that. is a very positive show on all kinds of women, and the sub line for that is loving women, warts and all. 
So the show did really well. It's a very positive show about women. But what's interesting is men adore the show. When we toured with that show, a lot of women are like, oh, my wife drugged me here. And they go, oh, my God, I love this show. That <laughs> so was is my it a aunt. musical or it's our... Uh, it's got original music mm -hmm. for all the scene changes that was written by Casey. And she wrote these beautiful, funny, funny songs. We have some very stunning songs on there like uh, Get Off the Cross, We Need the Wood. Uh, you know, I could get over him if I could get under you. I mean, there's some very funny songs in there, but they're all they're all pretty PG. You know, it's not a dirty show. It's very so. Clean. Is it like a is it a series of skits then, or and musicals, or is it a whole show? It's it's a series of different characters that you meet and their scenes. And there's okay. there's two actors that play 14 roles. Wow. And in one scene, we have three characters. So you have to see the show to see how we did that. I really <laughs> want to see that. Now, where where do we find it? Or well, it's we... currently on hiatus, but there is a website, nipplestothewind.com and nipplestothewindfanclub.com. I'm going to go around fans. going nipples to the wind now. <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah, no, it's a very positive show. Though when we were touring, there were some cities that literally had signs that said, um, uh, this is this no way reflects our opinion. Like they knew what the show was about, but they had no idea. I said everybody has nipples. Babies have nipples. <laughs> bottles have nipples. It's it's, and your it's a nice women's show. Basically. It's a women's like. show, but men adore it. It's just a very positive light on normal, average, a little bit crazy people. And it's on hiatus now, but you can go to which website is it? Nipples to the wind dot com. Nipples to the wind dot com. Yep, I and love there's links that. on my site as well at actorsgem.net. Actorsgym.net. And then Tripeg Studios, does that have a separate one? Tripegstudios.com. Well, there you have it. And we're it. a fully functioning studio it's and here for everybody. It's beautiful here, too. It's yeah. really beautiful. People are always it. surprised when they come here because they're like, I didn't even know that existed. No, this reminds me of like Hollywood. I just love it. Yeah. You know, well, uh, you know, it's our it's, taste of Hollywood. It's huge. Yeah. We have three sound studios. We have green screens, infinity screens. We can drive cars in here. We do commercials, really? films, you name it. Can best I kept do that secret. Next time? <laughs> I'm gonna drive your car in. I thought I'd rather see you on a motorcycle. Ooh, <laughs> now I'd like to learn to do that. That would be good for my image there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie's Buzz on a motorcycle. <laughs> I, I like it. Buzz, get yes, it? That's awesome. <laughs> I love chatting with you. You're I an like amazing person. Thank you so much, Reno. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us again on Jackie's Buzz.